Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. It's Christmas Eve. Tomorrow is Christmas Day. And I just want to use the opportunity to share a little bit for particularly believers, um, for you to know the extent of God's love towards you. Hallelujah. Quickly come with me to the book of Romans chapter 5 from verse 6. I'm reading from the King James Version. For when we were yet without strength, that is, when we could not help ourselves, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Mark it. We were the ungodly. We had no strength to help ourselves. We, had, we were helpless to help ourselves. Christ died for us in that state. Now, receive verse 7. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commended his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Can you beat that? What was in us, what made us valuable, what made us have uh, worth in the eyes of Almighty, that in our wretchedness, Christ died for us. Now look at verse 8. Or rather, for, uh, read verse 7 again. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet peradventure for a good man, some will even dare to die. But God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood. In essence, that word justified is the same word as righteous. So he's now saying much more than being now the righteous by his blood. That's you are now uh, one of the righteous. We shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. In essence, he's saying when you were an enemy, he gave his son to die in your stead. What won't he do for you now? That you are now part of his family, that you are now reconciled to him. What won't he do for you? He, he didn't keep back his best. He gave his best when you were not part of the family. Now that you are part of the family, what won't he do for you? Hallelujah. Uh, let me read verse 11 and end it there. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Hallelujah. I want to reiterate again. Yesterday I had talked about the fact that you are curse-proof. You can be cursed. Who God has blessed, no man can curse. Now I, I reiterate again. You were once an enemy of God. He went and purchased you in your vile state and brought you in. And he purchased you with his best best treasure now you are now one of his his son now what won't he give for you think about it he says if you been if you been evil you earthly parents being evil know how to give good things good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly father who when you were vile he sent his son to die in your stead now that you are his son. What won't he do for you? Think about that. If you, if, you, if you get into the position where you start feeling down now in the dumps, that as if situations and circumstances have ganged up against you and that the whole world is against you and you're about going under, just remember this. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He gave his only begotten son for you in your stead. When you deserved the death penalty now that you have been put right with him the whole of heaven is not enough for him to give to rescue you to get things done for you you are his son a member of the royal family and he will not he will he will spare no expense to see to it that things work out well for you god bless you hallelujah have a fabulous Christmas when it comes.